It's been a long time since I've done uh, like YouTube. So I'm gonna create a YouTube, uh, I'm using this for Instagram, but I'm gonna combine that and make a YouTube video about the top five things I learned this year in a sense of just personal, personal stuff, the physical therapy kind of stuff, and more on the mind, like kind of a, the brain stuff. So I'll make top fives of that, and I share this to see if this helps other people. The top five personal stuff. One, turning off the phone notifications. I didn't realize how much it distracts me having all the notifications on. So turning off that notification, just having the phone and text on has created so much space for me mentally and for efficiency. Two, social media boundaries. Social media doesn't give you the bigger picture of something, but it's a good communication tool. So to utilize as a tool for yourself, not a tool that makes you addictive, probably helps out a lot. So making sure that I am the one that controls it instead of making it addictive, because they are there to make it addictive. Three is my family. With the pandemic, we all got challenges. And through this time, I really got reassurance from my wife that she is the biggest fan of me. So thank you, honey. Four, I'm my own worst boss. Without me giving myself feedback and time to think and assess myself, I sometimes just kind of let my auto, uh, auto run for me and it doesn't help me and I don't listen to my body signals. So listen to my body signals, what does that mean to me? And then allow myself to self care for myself so I can help others. Five, I'm still working on this, but once I go home, I put the phone inside a box so I don't take a look at it anymore. By allowing that, I didn't realize how much addicted and I was pulled to the phone so it didn't allow myself to be focused on my family, my wife, my kids. So those, that's been a big one this year. All right, here are the top five rehab stuff that I learned this year. So one is the calf muscle. So calf muscle used to be the thing that was tight in a lot of the education that I used to have. So instead of that, I'm thinking more about how can we use the calf muscle and how is the calf muscle integrated into other parts of the body? And that's been very helpful. Number two is the importance of plyometrics, kind of like hops, jumps, uh, fast movement stuff onto the body. Uh, I realized as I'm growing older, that type of stuff is definitely something that I start to lose. So having plyometrics in the life definitely feels so much better for me. Trust is must. So in the rehab world, especially, uh, trust is must. Skill and, is, and knowledge are important, but that means nothing when I don't trust the patient or the patient doesn't trust me. So having that relationship is a requirement slash must in order for the skill to exponentially be more powerful. Breathing tells us a lot still. So this is not in the sense of what kind of breathing drills to do, but more importantly, when you actually progress an exercise and do something that's a bit more difficult or scary for the person, very commonly people will hold their breath. So I just tell them, make sure, or are you aware that you're not breathing during that movement? And that makes changes. Five, key is change. So people with chronic pain or scared to move forward, it is about creating change in a sense that you help them create an environment to tolerate the change that's happening. Because no matter what you do, and even if it's a good thing, change can be scary and almost painful to some people. Top five, mind body one. One, did you know that we have two vagus systems in our body? Uh, if to be simple, it's like reptile versus mammalian. So the mammalian part is the one that we have developed as a human slash mammal. And it's really important to have a support system to help develop that. So to feel supported is a huge thing. Also, we like to think that we're really, really smart in uh, like species, but we're very much a bottom up. We feel things, we sense things, and then everything starts to come into play. So we are much more bottom up things. So like as a movement professional, I'm realizing how important it is and how much responsibility I have with these, the bodily stuff that I know. Nowadays, instead of asking, is this the right or wrong thing? I ask it with a different context. Is this current direction helpful to get to the next step that you're looking for? Or is it appropriate to the current reality that we're in instead of right or wrong? Because when it does happen that way, we get obsessed almost stuck in that realm. Four, psychotherapy is very functional in nature. I wish that barrier for that entry is much lower. Uh, so it's a little more, so it's not like you have to be screwed up to get something. We all have certain things that we need help with. So psychotherapy is very functional in nature. Uh, it's to help you understand some of the things that you don't even understand or you can't see up to your awareness. Lastly, I've experienced so much of not just my family belief, but the cultural belief has such an impact 
and how I get triggered with certain things in my life. Uh, and a simplest thing for me for Japanese thing is being on time. So this is the top five personal, top five personal movement rehab stuff and mind body stuff that I learned this year uh, in a very quick and general sense. Uh, so I hope this was enjoyable and have a happy holiday.